All right, and we're back, um, sort of. Just got a couple of things I gotta do. Oh yeah, it's time. Yep. It's time. So. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. Yep. Keith has been goading me for a while to play Sonic, so. I backed off after we <laughs> had our last conversation. Um, not a huge, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Yeah. But <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the original Sonic. Um, Sega Ages, though, if if y'all haven't seen the Sega Ages collection, mm -hmm. it's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. So you can go in here, choose the edition you want. So you can have the Japanese release, mm -hmm. the international release, or the Mega Play, which the Mega Play was kind of a really shitty Genesis arcade machine. <laughs> Where you had to keep feeding it quarters in order to continue playing. Wow. Um, it Like, every quarter gave you, like, I, I want to say two or three minutes of play. Like, it wasn't based on losing your lives. Like, a typical arcade machine. That's crazy. Um, we're going to do international. Um, I'm going to play with Spin Dash and Drop Dash on. Um, the game didn't have either, did it? No, the game didn't have anything. <laughs> The main reason I like it is it adds save functionality. See, to Sonic that's Club. awesome. But, so, let me get this rant out of the way. Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, the release on iOS and Android, mm -hmm. is in fucking widescreen. This isn't. What the hell, Sega? Like, <laughs> come on. Um, when the phone version has better... Yeah. <laughs> like it it gets uh, on my nerves <laughs> i should have known getting car play a sega game you're gonna get a oh yeah i'm i'm gonna bitch about them pretty much the <laughs> the entire time we're gonna see how far i can get playing this with drop dash um i think drop dash is one of the coolest things they've added yeah to sonic um just because it it really adds a level of movement that you used mm. to not have. I'm telling you. It really adds to your momentum. It really adds to the flow of the game. It's it it's nice. It's it's a nice ability, finally, that they decided to give Sonic. Yeah. Um, and I mean it wasn't even Sonic Team that came up with it. It was I mean, maybe Sonic Team had a hand in it, but Ooh, They'll say no, they had no. a hand in it. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, damn it. I hate these. So, <clears throat> <laughs> the Sonic special stages. Mm -hmm. Sonic 1's special stages are disorienting, confusing, and even if you know what you're doing, like, I've probably played that one special to stage probably 400 times in my life. Um, not even exaggerating. I played this game a lot. I believe it. I say as I immediately get it. Um, oh. The... I, I kind of knew the layout, but I wasn't sure because mm -hmm. the whole thing is spinning and moving and it's so disorienting that it, um, it just, it's not a good stage. Also, another problem I have with Sega Ages, and I'm just going to do this just to do it. So, well, I'm invincible. So, so. Even if you're damaged, like invincible from damage, and you touch spikes, like the original version of this, mm -hmm. you die. Um, if you have no rings. Um, while I know they're kind of being true to the original release of this game, um, <laughs> they added spin dash, and, spin dash and drop dash. Right. But they didn't fix the spike damage glitch. So... Is that a glitch, or did they just want no, to make it, it hard? No, it's a well-known glitch. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it was okay. a glitch that was fixed. Um, I just think they're fucking lazy. Um, like, I'm just calling it, like, what it is. Calling it spade a spade. Yeah, it's laziness. You know, they could have done the widescreen port of this, they didn't, you know. Oh, well, it's for accuracy. You know, they could have fixed the glitches. 
They didn't because of accuracy. Um, but then at the same time, oh, they add in stuff that wasn't in the game. Yeah, it's optional, but like you should have the option of turning off anything and everything. Yeah. It's like, well, I will say this about Shinmu. Um, they made it where you can make it exactly like the original Dreamcast, like how it See? See? Yeah. <laughs> how it looks, you know what I'm saying? Like everything. Yeah. But then they make it where you can make it look prettier, you yeah. know. So they give you both ways. And then even on the control scheme, they have like original and then a new or a more new school one. So one thing I am going to give them. Um, they have said See, spin dash is useful in this. Um, I'd say so. They have said that um, emulation of the Dreamcast is possible Mm -hmm. for the Switch. And so they're interested in making Sega Ages Dreamcast games. Wow. um, Which is kind of exciting. They said, and even if, they said if they're unable to get it to emulate correctly, they still have all the source code for the original Dreamcast games. Yeah. So they'll just port it. They'll make Switch ports to Dreamcast games. Wow. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, wow. I thought the Dreamcast was an amazing console. and It was. Yeah. It really was. And Groundbreaking. I, yeah. I'm excited to see... I'm excited to see that. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm interested in what, what all they're going to do Ooh. with Sega Ages. Um, just because there's a lot they could do. There is. I'm I'm interested in the potential of seeing um, uh, Saturn Saturn games be released. See, I never I never played a Saturn in my life. I can honestly say that. Which is one reason I'm kind of interested in seeing that because oh, I I feel like a lot of people miss the Saturn. You know, I I would say it'd be cool if they did 32x games, um, but. I mean, there's like two that are worth playing. So, <laughs> what two are those? Um, Colibri, in my opinion, and uh, Knuckles Chaotix. Not, not, not because it's a good game, um, but because it's worth playing just to see how bad a Sonic game can be. Um, <laughs> I remember when you played that game, had you bouncing around everywhere. So one day we'll play it together. Um, I think our friendship is strong enough <laughs> to make it through. Well, you'll probably want to kill me. Yeah. That's the thing. But, um... <laughs> so, this this brings up one of m- oh. m- my problem with Sonic. Uh, Sonic 1, at least. Oh, man. Um, yep, this is the one. Yeah. Yep. So, Yuji Naka, the creator of sonic um (laughs) you love that guy (laughs) he was afraid that sonic would be too fast for players is it for like americans specifically no no, just just players players in general Uh, so he decided in his infinite wisdom that in sonic there needs to be levels that are slow and methodical to give the players a break. So you have an interesting thing in the original Sonic game. You have Sonic levels, Green Hill Zone, etc. Um, the the levels that you kind of think of when you think Sonic. You know, they flow like a Sonic level. Yeah. And then you have these. And they play like a platformer. Yeah, like like a like, platformer at the time. Yeah. Um, slow, methodical, annoying as shit, and. The momentum-based gameplay is gone. Yeah, it it doesn't really work. There are some things you can do that are, you know, nice little tricks. But overall, you're stuck like this, sitting here waiting, you know. Oh, wow. Um, Labyrinth Zone is the worst offender in my eyes. Offender. Yeah. (laughs) Marble Zone is, fuck, Ah, pretty bad too. Because you're playing a character that's built on moving fast. And your momentum builds a lot faster than it should for a level like this. Right. And so a lot of players, when they get to these levels, especially if they've never played like Sonic a lot, yeah. it's, it's like hitting a molasses-covered brick wall. Um, 
I, I don't agree that people Ooh. needed a break. No. You know? Even, like, see, when we went to Retropalooza, I was playing this on my, uh, the phone version that has <laughs> widescreen. Um, oh, nice. I remember I was playing this and I was, like, losing my shit, man. Oh, shit. And I actually beat this level, but it took me a while. Yeah, I remember we were... It took me I, a while. I was driving, you were, you were riding and cussing at Sonic yeah. while I was, uh... I was like, this is bullshit. I was mad at traffic, and you're mad at a game. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. I, I, I mean, I flew right through. Oh. Fuck! See, like this shit. I, I'm being punished for going ah, a little too fast. Wow. Oh, really? Oh, because I... Yeah, I, I died once to show off the spike glitch. Yeah once to the spike glitch actually mm -hmm. and then once to that yeah it's saved though right um that's the thing so you get save states but not actual saves oh that's what the phone version's like yeah so you didn't save state no nah, i didn't save state because i mean it's on sanic so it's sanic and mainly, like, I'm playing this just to bitch about Sonic for an hour, because, I mean... Oh, it, nice. Like, if, if you guys were hoping for a mega speed run or something like that, I'm not that good at Sonic 1. Um, I'm pretty good at Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like... Yeah, no, that's, um, that's your shit, though. And Yeah, like, <laughs> I've, I've played Sonic 3 and Knuckles probably more than any other video game. Yeah. Spike glitch. Spike glitch. God damn it. You know what's crazy is it, it would be like like if Carl plays Sonic 3 and Knuckles on here. And I'm saying that right, right? Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Yeah. Okay. Because um, there's different versions of that from what I know. Yeah. Um, it, would, it would be like me playing Mega Man X. It right. was like... Phew. Well, and, and so that's that's one thing at Retropalooza. Um, they had... A booth there selling repro repro cards. Yeah, and um, one of the repro cards they had was Sonic Three Complete. Yeah, that was awesome. Which is it's Sonic Three and Knuckles, but with some tweaks, some bug fixes, um, some customization. Yeah, like I have it set up to play the original prototype level order, um, which is really neat because it puts. Um, uh, flying battery zone right before um, ice cap zone. Oh, nice. So, which was the original intended effect, or the the, the original order. Order. Yeah. yeah. And the idea was... <laughs> oh! Ah, got it this time. Nice. The idea was um, you beat flying battery and you knock a door off, and then you ride the door down mm -hmm. uh, instead of a snowboard out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, I remember that. And the the sprites for the door were still in the game. Like, <laughs> so they just tweaked it, you know. And a bunch of smaller tweaks like that. Like, if you, if you play through as Sonic, um, when you beat the Sonic 3 portion, you actually fight Big Arm in addition um, oh. to the the other final bosses on launch base zone oh which nice in a normal sonic 3 and knuckles game when you get to the launch base zone bosses you don't fight big arm who's the final boss of sonic 3 mm -hmm. which is one of the cooler like robotic bosses in my opinion at least so oh yeah, I thought that was really awesome whenever we went there and you saw that. And then yeah. it topped it off at the end of the, the con right before we left. You saw that, that Sega. And you yeah. were like, oh, dude. So I, I also picked up a Genesis Model 2, which... Yeah, I didn't remember the specifics of the yeah. game. I, I had a Model 3 already, but I grew up playing on a Model 2. Yeah. And um, it's, it's power burned out one day and... I opened it up trying to fix it, and it had a bunch of pop capacitors and all kinds of other wonderful problems, and I was never never able to fix it. So mm. um, it, it was kind of like losing a friend. 
Yeah. And so when I saw this model too, I had to buy it. There was, there was, there was no way around it. I just. Yeah. Oh, nice. So See, that was your drop dash. Yeah, that's the drop dash. Oh, so. nice. Yeah, I can tell just by the look in your face, man. When you saw it, you're like, oh man. I mean, I I really didn't have the money to be spending on that, but I did it anyway because I'm a massive nerd and I'd rather eat ramen for like two weeks than, you know, lose out on something like that. <laughs> I said that so. just earlier because <laughs> I was like, oh, Red Dead's coming out. And I was like, oh, I was like, I'm going to see. I got stuff I got to take care of, but if I got to eat ramen for two weeks, I can make it work. <laughs> Well, that's um, oh, that's so funny. That's something I'll say actually occasionally when uh, when I've spent all my money on some stupid bullshit, I'll be like, "Man, things are really Romney right now." Yeah, oh, I've been there. It's just tough, man, because like I said, Soul Calibur and Red Dead, you guys are buttholes. <laughs> like within a week of each other, really, really. And there's things that we're doing for the show that you know. We, we're constantly doing things and putting it into the into this because we want to keep bringing the content for you guys. This is what yeah. we love doing. I have some new lights on the way so we don't look so terrible. Um, things like that. Yeah, so. so, but we, we're definitely got we got a nice game lined up here pretty soon coming your way. Yep. At, uh, yeah. Definitely one of my favorites, and you know, now that they brought it to Switch, I'm oh. I'm not happy about the price, but. Oh, shit. Yeah, just like anything else. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. You went for that <sighs> ring. I think that's part of the thing that makes Sonic hard, to be honest, if you think about it. Nice, you saved. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that makes Sonic... Oh, no, I didn't. Nice. Go. Good save. Literally. Yeah. Um. Again, I think that's one thing that makes Sonic difficult to a point is you have to balance speed with at least having one ring right and that's that's tricky man um the later games do it better um this one there's high points but it, it's got a really weird kind of overall feel because you have green hill which is fun as shit and then you have this bullshit and then you have uh, Spring Yard, which is fun as shit. Yeah, I remember and, that one was and, fun. And then you have uh, Labyrinth, which is the one Sonic Zone that I hate more than any other Sonic Zone ever. Like, It's pretty bad. Then you have Starlight Zone, which is amazing. And then you have Scrab Brain, which... Which one did I get to in the phone game and it kept... It wouldn't let me beat the level. I beat the level and it wouldn't let me beat it. Um, I guess I'll figure out when I see it on here. <laughs> you, uh, you got... To the end of Labyrinth, I think. Yeah, was, yeah maybe it was Labyrinth. But oh I, no, you got to the end of Spring Yard, and then that was yeah, that was it. It just it just kept it every would time take me you back. yeah every time you'd beat it, it would say game over, which I think is the you were playing the free version. But they need to be more clear about that if that's the case. Like, but see, I had Sonic the Hedgehog two, and I had the free version, and they let me play the whole thing. Yeah. So I, maybe I now know. they're being punks. I don't know. Unless you know. Sonic 2's free version only lets you play to the end of Metropolis Zone. <laughs> yeah, I never beat Metropolis Zone. Oh, God. I hate that zone. Oh, that zone is so bad. What? I like Metropolis Zone better than I like Labyrinth Zone. Mm, that's bad. And if we get to Labyrinth Zone tonight, if I just stop sucking ass, then um, y'all have to listen to me complain. About well, I mean, all the things I hate honestly, about it. this is this is pretty brutal stuff here. You Labyrinth Sonic game. Labyrinth Zone is as fun as Metropolis Zone, but underwater. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I, and I'm not even motivated to the, to get the Chaos Emeralds in this one, um, just because. I mean, you don't get anything other than the good ending, which is just like Sonic jumping up going, yeah, for doing it. Like, So do you get you get zero lock, right? No. I, I, this is it. Okay. So. Well, at least if you 
have to redo it. You'll be at this zone one. So if if I game over again, I'm gonna start up the level select just because I'm lazy. Um, that and I, I I know y'all don't want to watch me fucking suck ass over and over again in Marble Zone, like. Oof. See, that's pretty bad when I think of you and how much Sonic you played for you to go, yeah, you don't want to see me suck ass. I'm like, what? I'm, I I genuinely enjoy the levels that aren't this. Yeah. In this, ver- in this Sonic game. Like, yeah. Um, so, when I was little and I had a Genesis, I played Sonic a lot. I would occasionally put this onto Sonic and Knuckles to play Blue Sphere. Uh, oh, I wasn't. I looked away. <laughs> um, I put this on Sonic and Knuckles to play blue, to play Blue Sphere, but honestly, um, I played Sonic 3D Blast more than I played this one. This one. Wow. So I remember playing that one with you before. The director's cuts out. We should play oh, yeah. that one one night. Um, yeah, I remember you said they actually like fixed stuff the way it was supposed to be, and how how the programmer intended a lot of things yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's still Sonic 3D Blast at the end of the day, but I mean, it's not as bad. Yeah, I mean, there's worse. Oh six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I know that's inevitable. We're going to have to play that one day. Oh my god. And, you know. Oh. Oh. Shit. Yeah, I forgot those things will keep hurting you too when they bounce around. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that trick miserable way. Oh. <sighs> what the? What was that? So, <laughs> you were never meant to be able to spin. Ah, shit. Spin dash into him. Oh, yeah, because that was added yeah. with what you're playing. So. That's faster. Now, one thing... <laughs> one thing I do want to do. So, oh, on the releases on Steam, the... Oof. Well, that was just not fair. Okay. That was just not fair. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it had a ways to go up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> that was just not fair. So the releases on Steam um, have a really interesting... Um, the Sega Genesis Collection, I think is what it's called, mm-hmm. where various Sega Genesis games are on Steam. Um, forgot there's three acts. Yeah. Ugh, that's another thing about this one that I don't like. Like, one act of Marble Zone is enough to piss me off. Um, anyway, the... The versions on Steam are interesting if you have Steam VR, because you can play them in a virtual room. Ah, oh, you showed me that on a virtual CRT. Yeah, and I want to show that off one day. That'd be um, awesome. Not that it's particularly unique, um, but it, it's kind of cool. That and the Steam versions allow you to load like mods. Basically, put ROM hacks on like official releases, mm-hmm. which is so cool. Um, Sega really knows what the fans like. Yeah, um, I mean, for God's sake, they they hired a bunch of ROM hackers to make Sonic Mania. Yeah, you know, um, which is, I mean, Sonic Mania was. I watched you play that, and I was like, man, that looks so much fun. Like. More and, fucking fun than this, that's for sure. And, you know, like I've, I've said before, I'm like, I need to play it one day. I need to, you know, do it. Uh, as long as it's... Oh! Dicks. Better than this. Well. You're taking the other way. There isn't another way. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it <laughs> wow uh, <laughs> so you're gonna learn how we, to tank something well, there you go which brings me to another issue with 
the general game design of Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, rings. Um, <laughs> yeah. That is ridiculous. That I just did. It is. Totally allowed with the ring system. That was pretty epic to watch, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh. Dicks. This is funny how he landed like that. Oh. Jeez, man. <laughs> I wish... in I wish, Okay, so... Instead of spin dash and drop dash, I wish they gave you a choice. One or the other. Well, no. I wish you could choose oh. Spin Dash and Drop Dash <laughs> or Spin Dash and Insta Shield. Because I like the Insta Shield a little better than Drop Dash. Oh, yeah. That checkpoint was uh, well timed. Well, I mean, I have one life, so. Yeah. If I die, that's it. <sighs> so my upstairs neighbor has a cat that I can only assume is constantly pushing stuff off of shelves. So that's all I hear about this time at night. Just, why did you do that? <laughs> that cat frustrates you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't even know if y'all can hear that. But it's, it's, yeah. Oh. It, it's enough to throw you off your game. <laughs> There you go. Oh, man. I'm going to stage select on. You can do that? Yeah. Just just like that. That's all it takes. Hmm. How come I couldn't do that on the phone game? Oh. Hey, that's the way to do it, man. Oh, not Labyrinth Zone. Ah, crap. What the hell am I doing? I mean, if you want to do that, then go ahead. I meant Marble Zone. So, yeah, I'll just start over where I was. This isn't like any kind of competitive thing. This isn't. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So, stage select order in this game Green Hill, Labyrinth, Marble. So, it's... Star yeah. So, this was the original intended stage oh, order. Wow. Can you imagine going from Green Hill to Labyrinth? Like, no. That would, that would be crazy. Yeah. Man. That would be nuts. Oh. Oh. It's so funny just even watching you play. Like, I was I was pretty pretty livid there for a little bit in the car. <laughs> you just got really mad at one point and just got quiet. Yeah. Because at, at a certain point, you just go... What what do you what do you do? I, I mean, you can't do anything. And you have the uh, some of these nice little things that are helpful, but not you know. Yeah, I, I know kind of where some of the stuff is. Yeah, I haven't like I said, I haven't played this as much as some of the other. But I mean, I was playing Sonic Three Complete the other day, yeah. and I was finding stuff that I had never found before in the game, and like. That's really cool. Well, yeah, I've been playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles since I was... I think it came out when I was 7 or 8. So I've been playing it a long fucking time. Yeah. And to discover things... Like... And the same rings true with Sonic Mania. Every time I sit down and play that, I find more shit. So that's one thing I have to kind of give, you know, oh, Sonic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I, I really dislike this one, though. I... See, that's crap. That's what could happen to me. Dude, I was getting ticked off. <laughs> and then right here, I was like, man, how come I keep moving and I'm not... He's like, and you would tell me, like, you gotta move smart because everything's momentum-based. Little taps, little yeah. taps. Which, I mean, again, it's not smart design for a Sonic game. Like, no. And I want to say they did better with Sonic 2, um, but there's still 
some things with Sonic 2 that I don't like. And when Sega Ages Sonic 2 comes out, I will address them. Um, <laughs> I'll address them. <laughs> oh, the Sonic Professor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge, like, nerd when it comes to Sonic stuff. Um, just because I played it a lot. Yeah. Spin Dash is really useful to have in this level, though. Let me tell you. That's what I'm saying. Like, on the phone version, I didn't have that. But even <laughs> if I did have it, I wouldn't have used it right. I would have killed myself, probably. But I think you can, in this, unlock Tails and Knuckles. Ooh. But, I mean, would they really be... I mean, Tails, of course, is useful. So how come that little animal can go through the lava and not get hurt, but you can't? Because he's not a whatever Sonic is, like that's that's another thing that's kind of weirded me out with the Sonic series all these years. So there's two kinds of animals in Sonic's world, and no one talks about it. Like there's regular old ass animals like penguins and and squirrels. Yeah, like that squirrel. squirrel. Um yeah. and then there's Whatever kind of fucking animal Sonic is. Sonic, Tails. Yeah. Well, I know. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy. Yeah. <sighs> I could continue. Um, I could... <laughs> Big the Cat. Oh, yeah. Long. Ruggy. Yeah, um, that's a fun one. But, I mean, serious. And, like, Big the Cat even brings up a problem. Like, Big the Cat's best friend is Froggy, who's just a regular-ass frog. Yeah. Like... Oh, that's the only animal that could, you know, put up with them. No. Yeah. If it was an animal like Sonic and Tails or one, they'd be like, no. I'm Well, I'm pretty sure if Froggy could talk, he'd be like... Get away from me. Yeah. I don't like you, big. Why do you think I keep running away from you? <sighs> oh, I remember this boss. See, I, be, I remember beating this one. Yeah. But see, I like, I like the Insta-Shield. I'd have been able to hit him one more time if I had the Insta-Shield. Which is named really bad, because it's... Like, thinking yeah. of it as a shield doesn't help you. Yeah. But if you think of it as something that increases your attack radius just mm -hmm. a little bit, then you start using it right. Right. Man, look at the timing on that jump. Perfectly. Perfect. I still remember the times when you would come over and you are going to college at the time... And uh, you would sit and play Sonic... CD? CD. You were like, I'll buy it. And then you beat the whole damn thing. I know <laughs> you didn't get everything in it, but... You just sit there and just... Oh, okay. Oh. And I was like, how... how do you Kind just... of awesome to immediately lame. That's yeah. that's me. Welcome, welcome to the stream, guys. <laughs> but the point that you did that, I was always like... Mm. And there was multiple times I picked it up and I'm like, I'm going to try to play it. I saw Carl beat it. Yeah. Sonic CD is interesting. So it has all the elements of a Sonic game, but it's the closest thing to like an open world Sonic game that exists. Yeah, because you said that one's not really about speed. It's about just doing things in the right order. Yeah, like exploration kind of. Yeah. Um, oh, this is the one that it, it screwed up on me. Yeah. Yeah, I beat this zone and then it. Yep. Those jerks. Damn it. Oh. So Spring Yard started the grand tradition of kind of a. The casino thing. Yeah. I mean, this one isn't very casino y. No. Um, you could tell. Like when I was playing it, I was like, there it is. Casino Night is definitely more casino y than Spring Yard. Yeah. Um, so casino y that it. It spawned its own game. Yeah. Sonic Spinball. Yeah. And the Casino Night pinball table in uh, Sonic Generations, which... That's cool. I've I've wasted too much time with in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I could say the same thing with uh, certain pinball games that I play. Um, I actually love pinball. I think it's really awesome. <laughs> the pinball game I've played the most, honestly. This is really lame, but... So in, I think it's called Casino Night. In, um, how do you kill that thing? Uh, you, you don't. Yeah, 
Okay, it's called Casino Night. In Sonic Adventure, it's either Casino Night or Casino... It's Casino something. It's the Casino... God damn it. <laughs> it's the Casino stage in Sonic Adventure. Um, oh my gosh. There's pinball tables. Mm-hmm. And there's one that's just like Sonic themed, but there's another that's... Um, Nights into Dreams themed. Oh. Uh, and the Nights into Dreams one actually, like, progress, uh, progresses. Like, you, it's like playing a game of Nights. Okay, I, I, I've except, played some tables like that. Yeah, except in pinball mode. Yes. Those are fun, man. Yeah. Those um, are fun. I've played that one um, to the end. Do you like that better than the actual game Nights? Uh, the pinball? Nights is really fun. Um, I've seen you play it a little bit. It's it's weird, okay? Because I, I we kind of touched on this, but I did generally blame Yuji Naka for the fall of Sega in general. Yeah, because there was a, no Sega game on the Saturn, right? Yeah, there was no... Yeah, there or was Sonic game. Yeah, no Sonic game on the Saturn. Not Sega game. There was, well, <laughs> technically there was. Sonic Jam was a Sonic game on the Saturn, but it was just a collection of this Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic Knuckles. Right. Um, so there wasn't a new Sonic game. And it was because Yuji Naka, in his infinite wisdom, threw a little fit at the team that was making Sonic Extreme. Mm-hmm. Um, because it was made using the Knights into Dreams game engine. Yeah. And he didn't want to let him do that. For some reason, I guess he was super protective of his baby game engine. I, I don't yeah. know. Um, Nights into Dreams is a really great game. I I like it. Ah, I don't like what it means for Sega in general. Ah, uh, yeah. At least in my eyes, they rushed the Dreamcast because they didn't have very good sales of the Saturn. Yeah. And I believe partly is because there wasn't a Sonic game on it. There was a Sonic game on the Saturn. I think more people would have bought it. Sonic R doesn't count either. Um, Sonic Heart? The Sonic R. Sonic. Oh, it was a R. racing game. Oh, R. I thought said R. Yeah. I was like, what? Which, um, I mean, it's, it's 3D Sonic. It's a racing game. But it controls like wet cheese. Um, so... And, and that's being generous. Like, oh, what jeez! <laughs> e- even for the time when 3D games were kind of new, it was awkward. Yeah. Um, there wasn't really much to it. It was, it was, it was a racing game with Sonic. And, and I mean, why would he get in a car when he could run fast? He wasn't. He wasn't driving. Uh, it's been the only Sonic racing game where he wasn't in a car, and it actually makes sense. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at you, Sonic Team Racing. <laughs> I've always wondered that, like, why would he get in a car? Like, he can run faster than a car. <laughs> What's up? Oh! I don't know why I always do that. Oh. oh. But, I mean, no, oh, I have to go up, not down. Going up, up, up. And, I mean, we've we've talked about what I think about Yuji Naka several mm-hmm. times on 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 our show on YouTube. Yeah. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, see, Spin Dash is really useful for this Yeah, one. I would have liked to have that. Um, I think overall, it's it's kind of a shame what happened to Sega. It is. Um, I think the Dreamcast was way too ahead of its time to do well. If that oh makes sense, it makes sense. And I, but I think a lot of it was, you know, more than me. I remember watching this very. I forgot the the YouTube channel, uh, the creator's name, um, but he had an awesome detailed video on the history of Sega, like from the very beginning all the way. There's stuff I was like, what? Right. Um, and it talked. Fuck. To, mm, yeah, that sucks. And it talked about how the Dreamcast was ultimately just rushed. Yeah. They rushed it too much. 
And they said when Shinmu came out, this is the part where I feel bad because I love Shinmu. I do. They said when Shinmu came out, like, or when they were, I guess, going to push it or whatever, they knew that the PS2 was on the horizon and uh, Nintendo was going to drop their system. So that was the GameCube. Yeah. And so they were like, oh, man. So they literally just pushed what they had to the hilt, knowing that if it doesn't work, we're done. Right. And it happened. Well, I I blame, like, they rushed it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... It's well known because yeah. when it first came out, there were all kinds of problems. Yeah, and you know, not not everyone remembers that there were issues with the Dreamcast. But yeah, there were the mm-hmm. the first few batches would just die, um, and don't even get me started on the 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 Dreamcast modem because I was one of those super mega nerds that had the Dreamcast online. Oh like, wow! Yeah, See, on that thing they talked about that. I never had that. Um. So, I remember spending like a week getting it all set up and working, wow. and it, and then um, my my mom came in, and I can't remember what she she was doing in my room. She wasn't cleaning; it was something. But she she moved my TV and my Dreamcast and unplugged the modem, and I never got that son of a bitch to work again. Um, it was just like, from then on, it just didn't want to work. That's crazy, man. Say what else is crazy is that. Yeah. The two different speeds. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I remember when I got a Dreamcast, that was the last system that my actually, my mom actually bought me. I had, I had saved up. Yeah. And I was within a week of me buying it. They announced they were going to stop making games for it. Mm, see, I bought mine and I had like two or three months. Uh, my mom had bought it for me, and uh, she was like, "All right, you either get you get one system and that's it." So I was sitting there like PS2 or Dreamcast, and I couldn't I couldn't wait. I was like, "I want a Dreamcast." It was an awesome system, man, and uh, yeah. So every oh shit, every game system from. The Genesis I paid for growing up. Mm-hmm. So, like, the Nintendo 64 I had saved up for... Oh, uh, no! Ooh, that's the worst part about that boss, is if you fuck up and get hit, he'll knock you into the... Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think I was 10 or 11. I had sa- managed to save up enough money doing odd jobs and shit to afford a... Nintendo 64. That's awesome, man. Um, and then the Dreamcast, like, that was like a year of me saving. And then when I bought it, within, it was a little more than a week, but not much more than a week. They were like, we're, we're, we're not making games for it anymore. I was like, God, fuck. So, mm. granted, I mean, the Chow and Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 kind of made up for that. Yeah. Um I I I wish they would bring back the Chow Gardens in oh, KO or I I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Chow. I mean they say Oma Chow. Yeah. How are you supposed to get that? And that works. Yeah, I remember um for me majority of my systems I can honestly say um, I, I was very fortunate to have my grandparents. Cause if I didn't have them, I don't know if I would have played a lot of games. Yeah. Um, Balls. Oh, yeah, that's what you got hit with, spiked ones. Uh, I remember um, getting the day I got my Super Nintendo, my grandparents came to visit, and they brought me one. I'll never forget that. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Put in Super Mario World, only game that was with it, and probably never got took me like forever to beat that game not gonna lie i panicked there for a second i couldn't remember if that was a <laughs> that was a dead drop or not oh yeah Ooh. okay come on come on there you go oh seven come on seven ah, one more come on eight 
There we nice, go. Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy because I know we talked about this as gamers. You've been, you know, a lot of Sega and Nintendo. I was strictly Nintendo until I hit PS2. Right. And now I still, I own, I've owned a GameCube and I've owned a Wii. And that's the last Nintendo, I mean, 3DS, whatever. But console, console, not as much. Oh, God. Do, 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 do. Here comes the pain. I hate this fucking level. Here comes the pain. <sighs> but yeah, the only Sega system I ever owned was a Dreamcast, now that I think about it. At a Genesis, um, I wanted to get a 32X, didn't, didn't have the money. Um, glad I didn't. Yeah. In retrospect. Yeah. Because, you know, it would have been bad if you would have bought it and then been like, oh, man. Wanted to Sega CD, didn't, didn't have the money. Um, no, mostly Nintendo. Um... After my first job, I got a PS2. Uh, played the hell out of that. Oh, PS2 had a, a great game library. I bought in... My, my first Xbox was... Uh, no! Okay, no. I was afraid I was going to land on spikes. My first Xbox was... Uh, no! Fuck you! Level! <sighs> okay. Let me try this again. My first... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any more bullshit game? Any more? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> My first Xbox was a 360. And I bought it for the worst reason oh. in the world. Oh. Um, so, I was excited for possibly the dumbest game to ever get excited for oh my God. in the history of game releases. What game is this? Too human. Too human. Um, I wouldn't say that's the dumbest game. Oh no, it is bad. It is really bad. Um, for some stupid reason, I bought a 360 for Too Human. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of. No, you're good. You're good. I'm, I'm trying to see. What, oh, nice. I kind of suck at this level, so. Well, it's not easy. Kind of glad my game didn't let me play further. <laughs> I'm like, okay, good, great, fantastic. But I really did not like. Oh, I've never been more disappointed. So, <clears throat> Two Human is kind of like a fantasy beat 'em up, a la kind of, almost like a la. Diablo, sort of. Oh, okay. Except it's based on, like, Norse mythology. Okay. It's kind of neat. You know, get cool items, equip things. It's kind of this techno-futuristic Norse mythology thing going on. Okay. Um, oh. It's interesting. Um, problem, though. <laughs> um... The story kind of meanders. Um, the game itself is only four levels long. Four levels? F yeah, four levels. Are they long? Uh, and moderately so. Like, you know, a couple hours per level. So, uh, so an eight-hour eight game? Mm, Gameplay? Yeah. Um, Main story, sorry. It's not really easy. It's not super hard to play. Because you move around with one control stick and attack by flicking your other control stick in Just directions. in directions, okay. Yeah. Um, various items, you know, all about set bonuses and that sort of thing. You okay. Know. Um, ends on a cliffhanger. No sequel ever made because the game was so garbage. The final level um, literally just oh. ends a about halfway through so most other levels are like two hours the final level the only reason it's about two hours long is they have like three times the amount of enemies as normal in the level dang that sucks and enemies that take a lot of hits even if you have the best equipment in the game to kill um wow that sucks man no ending 
like just to be continued not even any sort of like half ass resolution to it no mm. like no really even last boss fight that's I mean, crazy a big enemy and a horde of enemies and who made this game it doesn't matter they're out of business and i hope living under a bridge now <laughs> i've uh i've heard of the <laughs> game itself but i'm like I mean, I don't know. It's like... it's so bad. Not only did people forget it exists, but like if you bring it up, people don't believe it's bad. <laughs> like if they've never heard of it. It's it's so bad many people haven't heard of it because it just like it came out and people just ignored it. Nice. I was wondering if you slid down the water. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I had a 360 just mainly because of, like, at the time, the they had that boxing game, Fight Night. Oh, oh man, yeah. dude, that back then looked so good. Um, and I, I used to always play a ton of boxing games. I actually am sad they don't make many of them anymore, which boxing, I would even wager to say boxing is, I don't think boxing will ever die, but I think MMA has just saturated so much stuff. It's, yeah. I mean, you could always play arms. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's what you... I was like... <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to drown because I was goofing off. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I was like, man, you're better than me. I wouldn't have done any of that <laughs> underneath the water. Um, but yeah, and then I had the 360, and I had a, reg- a, reg- a excuse me, regular Xbox. Yeah. And I actually liked it. I had a broken regular Xbox that I got from a friend yeah. that I fixed, um, but didn't put like it. It didn't play games. It it was mainly for movies and movies such. And, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I bought one. I actually liked it, man. And well, <laughs> now I remember why I bought an Xbox. Hmm. Shenmue Two. Oh yeah. I was like, why did I buy right now? Uh, yes, that is why. Um, I did play the first Fable, which I thought it was fun. Then later on, I found out the Fable kind of just fell to shambles, I guess. Or... Peter Molyneux, Peter Molyneux did it. Yeah. And then, um, Knights of the Old Republic. Fuck you, I was invincible. Those are some great games back then. Yeah. That's, uh, Bioware that made that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bioware. I'll never forget the first one, I beat the first one. <clears throat> of course, you know, you could do light side, dark side, and it would yeah. change story and characters. And I got to the very end, and I guess my file messed up or something, but I got the last boss. I'd beaten it a good side, I was into the dark side. And, uh, yeah, my file messed up or something, and I was like, well, never played that one again. <laughs> um, oh, oh, dicks. So. No. I've I've dealt with people who firmly believe that Bioware cannot make a bad game. Um, I keep one game in my library of games just for that argument. Um, and it this this brings us back to topic because that game <laughs> is Sonic the Dark Brotherhood, which is a Sonic RPG made by Bioware. Um, it's bad. Nice grab on the uh, air, dude. Sonic Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood. That's that's the full name. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it's bad, bad, bad. Um, I mean, the gameplay is kind of interesting. When did that game come out? Uh, it's on DS. So, oh seven, I think. That makes it might sense have been because 08. they made uh, Nice the Old Republic. It was like 05, 06, yeah. all that time. And, you know, I keep that game around to remind myself that Bioware can make other games besides Knights of the Old Republic because that's kind of like... Their tag. Yeah, I mean... It was an awesome game at the time. Man. Dragon Age and Mass Effect both kind of play... Just like yeah. Knights of the Old Republic. Similar. Because I was similar. Because you know, I, yeah. I played um, 
Mass Effect. I did try Mass Effect. Yeah. And, I mean, it's a great game. Like, I can see how it could be fun and you can get into it. But I really didn't ultimately get into it like I did Knights of the Republic. Right. Like, for me, maybe it was, you know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I get that. But, um, I don't know. I can see the similarities. I played Mass Effect. I got stuck in an argument with a jellyfish. And I think that's the last time I played it. Like, I, I just kept going in circles. And I was too stubborn to relent with this jellyfish thing. And not that I'm the kind of gamer that, you know, dislikes those sort of games. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Oh, I remember when you were playing that at Retro Palooza, you got all the way to here. No, that, that was, um, that was the copy of, uh, Sonic 3 complete that I bought. Yeah, that's what it was. Sonic 3 complete, but you were at a part like that and the controller, wouldn't let you move up and down, so you were hitting the spikes. Yeah. That's... Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. I was kind of disappointed in the the game room area they had. Yeah. Um, just because it, they didn't have very many things. Nice. And a lot of the consoles were broken. Like, the controllers didn't work. And the or, TVs. Some the, of those TVs. Yeah. It was like, what? I mean, it was neat seeing them all hooked up, but... And the selection of games, because the Genesis I walked up to, I took uh, Bubsy out of to yeah. play Sonic 3 Complete that I had purchased. Yeah. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> yeah, Bubsy. You know what's funny? When I was a kid, I used to play that, and always like, I thought it was a good game, you know? I was like, and I'd try to play it, and it was hard, and now I realize it wasn't a good game. Yeah. I mean, when you're a kid, you don't fucking know better, yeah. so... <laughs> or I couldn't beat like the first or second level. I beat like one level and I get stuck. It wasn't easy. Yeah. Oh, but you know one thing I've learned too. If you go back and play a lot of these retro games, like like on my SNES Classic, you know, like a lot of games kind of follow the same kind of format. I mean, it, of course you had different ones and different stories, but it was a lot of platformers. Fuck. Yeah. A lot of beat 'em ups. I mean, it was the the games of the era. So, this oh here, and this, gosh. I'm I'm probably going to die here. This is where I usually die in, um, in this one. You don't have to... Get air. No, you have to get air. And I died. You don't have to attack Robotnik as you go. You just have to get to the end. Um, it's not made clear to you. Um, you see, I would be thinking you would be trying to attack. Yeah, no. Um, if you try to attack him, you kind of cause trouble. Right. Like, you, you get bounced around and you end up hitting things and whatnot. Um, I really don't want to redo that, but... So I'll just skip ahead. Yeah, we got I said about. I wasn't going to skip ahead, but screw it. Um, yeah, we got a little bit. Yeah, we get, uh, we have a little bit before we're going to sign off for the night. So. Yeah. Um, and mainly, this is just to kind of show off that if you're looking to play Sonic and for whatever reason you may not have ever played Sonic 1 and you want to give Sega your money instead of emulating, you could go worse than Sonic Ages or Sega Ages. Um... I, I, I have my gripes, you know. They they could have they they could have done widescreen. Oh. And I died. Um they could have done widescreen. There's there's a couple of weird glitches that are still in this version, mm -hmm. which I mean is I don't know. It's it's interesting. Actually, hold on, I think this is It's all coming back. Yeah. I could see you just the uh, young Carl sitting in his room just playing Sonic like endlessly. Holy crap. I played Sonic 2 a hell of a lot. Um I'm Ah, okay, whatever. Are you trying to get up there? Yeah. Oh. But because of that there 
Let's see. Well, I'm. I'll freely admit when I was little, I. Oh, my parents weren't around a whole lot, so I played Sega a whole lot. Yeah. So Sonic has a special place for me because of that. Like yeah. I'd I'd come home from school and I'd play Sonic. Like that you know, I wasn't the most popular kid. I didn't really like I I spent time with some friends in school, but not like a whole lot. So like this was this was it. Like yeah. I can honestly say the same thing because you know both Carl and I were only children, so yeah. uh, there's there's some goods and bads to it, I guess. But you know, I was kind of the same way, and that's why I like games like Mega Man X for me, even though I never beat him as a kid, like that that was that was it, you know. Yeah, you know, and that's that's kind of the one of the origins of our channel name and yeah. all of that. the The second players comes from the idea that growing up. You know, when when we would play games with someone else, we'd go over to their house and we we were the second players. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> I spent a lot of time as Luigi and playing on crappy Mad Cats controllers. Like, that's man, I remember Mad Cats. <laughs> so that's true. That's true. I remember always going to a friend's house and always playing like. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighters, like yeah. that. And that, you know, it's, I had that on my SNES. That game is actually not a bad fighting game. Yeah. Um, but it's funny because all they're fighting for is money. Yeah. I'm just like, what? <laughs> all, like, the Ninja, Ninja Turtles would do is buy, like, a bunch of pizza. Right. Oh, I don't know. Don't tell right. I might buy some technology stuff. I don't know. Oh. Wow. Nice. <laughs> bing, bing. No, no. But, I, I mean, I probably got a little too real there. and But, I mean, no. it's, it's the truth. Like, No, it, not at right. all, man. Like, that's that's the thing with gaming, man. It's, it's an awesome thing. I know for me personally, it kept me out of a lot of trouble yeah. growing up. I mean, the small town we grew up in, you know, when you're in high school, I mean... I mean, I, I occasionally still blew things up. Um, yeah. But, ooh, you know, I for the most part, I just stayed inside and played Sonic. Yeah. I mean, in one form or another. Yeah. Played a lot of Mario, too, so, I mean. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's funny is I played that stuff a lot when I was younger, but I was never great at it. Yeah. And then when I got older, when I really started getting better at gaming, most of that time was put into Sony. Yeah. Uh, oh, so for me, when I play the old Nintendo games now, it's like I still kind of am at the same level. I don't know how you did that. I'm still kind of at that same level as I was when I was younger because I haven't put any work into them. Yeah. Played a shit ton of Pokemon too. Right? Yeah. See, that was the Nintendo property. If I had to say, I put the most time in. It's. I mean, I know it's Game Freak, but well, clearly Nintendo pushes yeah. it. So I mean, it's like Pokemon. Holy crap! I'm kind of interested in their new game. Um, town. It uh, that's Game the, Freaks. Yeah, the working title is Town. I think. So it's not Pokemon. It's a different one. Yeah, it Game Freaks actually making a non Pokemon game. That just interests me, just because I've never, I would never even. Wow. So I've, I've played a, their other game that came out before Pokemon, um, and well, I mean, so, um. <laughs> The Game Freak came from a company called Ape. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what it was called. A something Ape, if not just Ape. Mm -hmm. a that company, in along with HAL Laboratories, I believe, made Earthbound. Mm, okay. Um, and then there was a side-scroller game only in Japan that came out, and then the next thing was Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. I think there was only one game between Earthbound and... And Pokemon. Well, Mother... God. Freaking. Mother, Mother 2 and... I'm trying to remember the... All I the know games. is... Yeah. 
I didn't even know they were part of Earthbound, so that's cool. So it's it's interesting when you go back and play Earthbound, you can kind of see some like prototype Pokemon stuff in it. It's crazy. Yeah, I know I never Pokemon. We've talked about that, and you know, make sure you check out our our channel as well. Yeah, we're we're uh, currently if you like that, we're yeah. currently playing through um, uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. I'm yep. just sucking just all the ass in the world at this level. <laughs> just uh, yeah, we definitely both grew up playing Pokemon, and it's it holds a special place in our gaming game yeah. in our library. So. Um, definitely enjoy that that's something we're enjoying too oh and and the playthrough we're doing it's gold and silver um we're playing alongside each other so yep. keith is playing silver and i'm playing gold uh, <laughs> uh, and welcome what the fuck is okay and welcome to zone three <laughs> and this is yeah this is like when i was playing castlevania and i went Went all the way back to the beginning, and you're like, Hen, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yep. I did that. Uh-oh. Well, at least the bombs are dead. Man, that, how would you figure that out as a kid? Good gosh. It, it reminds me, to a lesser extent, of uh, the barrel in Sonic 3. A lot of people got to the barrel in um, Carnival Night Zone and then just never got any further. Um, and, you know, one day when I'm playing that, I'll I'll get to the barrel and I'll talk about the barrel. Because the barrel gave me a little bit of trouble. Not as much as some people, but it was an interesting thing. Holy crap. Oh, oh. oh. That was just bad timing. Probably get to Robotnik and then beat him and then we'll probably call this stream done. Oh. It's been a long week for both of us and I'm starting to get a little uh, sloppy with my gameplay. So. Sloppy. And, we like an extra, yeah. extra sloppy. I mean, no one likes a sloppy Sonic except, I mean, maybe some of those people on, you know, sites that will go unnamed that specifically like sloppy sonics but sloppy sonics oh so there's two ways to you can hit them with the bombs yeah or the spike yeah oh dicks i actually quite like this boss wow <laughs> Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool, man. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> nice bit. Oh, you fat bastard. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're going to want that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh. Well, that's the way to end it. Yeah. Well, this was uh, Sega Ages Sonic. Um, yeah. I mean, if y'all haven't seen to the end of Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, sorry, but I really don't feel like getting all the way there tonight. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe eventually um, mm -hmm. I'll play through. Yeah. I'm going to save it here just to... Just to have it, so you yeah. never know we'll come back around, but... We thank you guys for dropping in, and thank you for everything, all the support we get. Yep. And then check us out at our uh, YouTube channel, Second Player Show. No, right. just the Second Se Players. Just Second Players. I'm getting yeah. mixed up. Twitter <laughs> is at Second Player Show, number 2ND. Yep. So. We appreciate you uh, watching the stream tonight, and we'll be back next week. We stream Thursdays at 7 p.m. right now. Yes, yeah, yeah, Central, Central. Central yeah. Time. Central and Time. So have a good evening, yep. guys.